love TBR, it's so great. <laughs> this helmet, it makes me want to ride safe. It makes me want to wear a helmet because half the people don't even know it's a helmet. They're like, hey, that's a beautiful hat. And I'm like, actually, it's a helmet. Troy Bike Rescue to me is a lot of things. Troy Bike Rescue is um, awesome. Uh, Troy Bike Rescue is my favorite place. It's my favorite place in Troy. Troy Bike Rescue is a collective of people um, who basically get donated bikes and keep them out of the waste stream. So we take in bikes that, that are donations and use them as tools to teach people how to manage their own transport. About learning that just because your bike has a flat doesn't mean it has to go into the waste stream, that you can fix it up and it's as good as new and it's actually really excellent. I'm putting a brake on this bike so that someone can ride it because the weather is beautiful and the streets deserve to be rolled on and cruised on. educate people about working on their own bikes. In this neighborhood in particular there's just a lot of young kids who um, ride bikes a lot and um, generally need help with their bikes but they were overwhelming the open shop which is like our now what we would call adult time. Um, so we decided to create youth shop which is one day out of the week that's just for um, kids. Well, after, they get, after they get the bike they can take it and ride and stuff. I think I only see that the this this this, this gear is only working. Get to get bikes and ride them, and and even we get the fix bikes. I I view it as very much a seeding program where you know, we can give them the seeds of bicycle mechanical freedom. It's obvious that a lot of the kids really like having a place to go and and uh, hang out, which isn't really the point, but they they get involved slowly but surely, I think. Uh, we do earn a bike, so if a kid um, puts in enough time and learns certain skills, they can walk away with a bicycle of their own out of our pile of donations. Um, and we're always trying to revamp that system and figure out what's the best way to get kids bikes, get them riding, get them using helmets, but also not necessarily rewarding them with free stuff. This place is all about like helping people with their bikes so they can um, enjoy their bikes. Second guys, hold on, you need a special one. See this right here? See these flats? Uh, one of my favorite ones that we do is a kids bike rodeo that we try and do every summer uh, over in Freedom Square. It's like a block up. Um, and we set up like all kinds of obstacles and we bring helmets for kids um, to just give away and we bring uh, bikes in case kids want to do it who don't have them and it's just an obstacle course and we film it and it's awesome. When we moved from downtown we shared a small space um, at 51 3rd. We paid rent, you know, we, then we got this building and needed to move, we needed money. So we did a fundraiser and we do that every year just to sort of, you know, see what else needs to happen. Usually there's a meal, you know, we get um, volunteers to cook the meal, people pay to be there. Um, there's raffles, so we ask the community to donate things, um, crafts, people, food, you know, whatever, gift certificates. And then the community comes and they bid on those things and so we raise money that way.
Yeah, Fem Shop is really great. Um, it's a time in the shop for people, you know, who are traditionally traditionally marginalized in, in a mechanics setting. Yeah, it's just where female mechanics can help other people, other females who want to work on their bike. When when there's a room full of mechanics that and like 80 or 90 percent of them are male, there's probably going to be some sexism that people don't even know that's going on. Fem individuals can, you know, manage a shop and, and teach you things and it's just as good and just as effective. This is the Fem Shop logo. This is the feminist symbol and it, and it has a revolutionary hand and it has a wrench. Four of us have this tattoo now. Um, three of us got it on the same day, the other person got it one day later. We're basically a volunteer run collective. Uh, we have no paid staff at this time. You know, it's open to anyone who wants to participate. Um, so generally the first biggest step is showing up. There's no, there's no leader, there's no hierarchical structure, um, no boss. Um, everyone just kind of helps each other. You know, we're not, we're not a business that's looking to sell things all the time. We're really looking to um, help the community and help people out. So. The fact that we want to be here, I think, is what keeps keeps it going. Taking taking our hands into the community and making it more resilient instead of waiting for some like law to doctrinate something that's like really just far away from us, but just doing things one step at a time, one bike at a time, and making a change that way. And I think it's testament to the fact that people understand that we're doing something different that needs to be supported. So. Uh, they support it. We serve a lot of people for free and we have a lot of people who donate more than you know we would ask we would require of them. How awesome is it to say like that we're open right now and we're all volunteers and you know we all have this um, you know passion towards this place. I love this place. I love seeing them a part of it and I'm here every week um, not because I'm being paid. It's more than you know just the tricks of the trade and the tools and stuff. It's it's a wonderful learning experience that is free. It's really hard to get people, um, you know, excited about riding a bike, but it's TBR does that for people, uh, you know, beyond fixing things. So it's great. But I don't think that we serve, you know, one type of person. I think the interest in bicycles or you know anything bike related cuts through this, you know really wide gamut of different types of people, then we all come together and share this, this commonality and we help people and we help the environment by not, you know, putting bikes in the garbage and recycling them. So that's my best guess. That's why I love it. It's this community building um, activity. freedom and independence? Uh, well, I bike as my main form of transportation. I think it best represents the true cost of freedom. I like to use bicycling as a form of artistic self-expression. Yeah, it's just an excellent community where cyclists come together.